The question of whether or not to recommend the impeachment of South Dakota Attorney General Jason Rausberg continues. Today, a panel of lawmakers heard testimony as they weigh that question. Kelly Dan Santella was in the meeting and joins us live now with a recap. Good evening, Dan. Well, Bridget, today the House Select Committee on Investigation heard from attorneys who prosecuted Roundsburg in this case. Roundsburg was driving a car that struck and killed pedestrian Joe Beaver in September of 2020. Well, something happened that he went outside a lane of travel, but did that equal reckless? Did that equal distracted? I don't agree with that. People go outside a lane of travel all the time, and we're certainly not prosecuting them uh, for reckless driving. Michael Moore is state's attorney for Beetle County. Emily Sovel is deputy state's attorney for Hyde County who led the prosecution of Roundsburg. She shared why she was opposed to the release of interviews of Roundsburg posted to the State Department of Public Safety's website in February 2021. The case was still ongoing. We hadn't had an arraignment. It was certainly not within the norm of any case I had been involved with and it's something that that our Supreme Court has helped us to protect, to, to prevent this from coming out. I've never been involved in a case where the interview of the defendant has been released to the press, I think, at all, and especially while the case is pending. And that's clear. I mean, the, the big re I mean, it's an ethical violation for me as a prosecutor. I, even though it was done by another party, that's my case, and I could be disciplined for that happening. The attorney general eventually faced three misdemeanor charges related to his driving, but not Beaver's death. The careless driving charge was dropped in a plea deal. His attorney entered a plea of no contest on his behalf to charges of driving outside the lane and operating a motor vehicle while using a mobile electronic right device. The testimony, I reached out to Craig Price. He's the cabinet secretary for the South Dakota Department of Public Safety for his reaction to today's testimony. He shared in it in a statement to Twitter, and he says on Twitter, as we heard today, and I have known since September 2020, this was a first-class investigation. I'm proud of the officers who dedicated so much time to seeking the truth. The House Select Committee on Investigation is set to meet again two weeks from today on Thursday, March 10th. Reporting live in Pierre, Dan Centella, Kelland News.